All right, welcome back. That felt pretty good to be back out on the trail doing a little bit of cutting. Get away from the maintenance and the reviews. Uh, I got the wide angle lens on the camera today. Let me know if you think that makes a difference. Uh, I think we're gonna do a little more cutting. May as well just move past those trees. Just start working into that wet spot a little bit. See what it's like. Uh, I shouldn't need the tractor today. I'm just gonna start off by cutting a narrow path based on uh, where I think the trail needs to be from looking at that, uh, that drone that drone photo. I can throw that picture up now so you guys can have a look. So I got the, the Still MS261, one camera, and the quiet. Let's do it. This is your first time here. My name is James and this is Killing It Country. I'm uh, walking around in the, the wet spot here as I've uh, inappropriately come to call it. And uh, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting in here today. Why not? I'm just gonna try to push my way in here on foot, try to create a path so that I have some idea of what to work with here. It's pretty, the snow is pretty deep in here. This is going to be a challenge to do uh, to do the cutting in here. It's not going to happen all today, that's for sure. Baby steps. So, let's get set up. This is uh, definitely a little more challenging than I would have thought to kind of walk a road into this area, just kind of pack the snow down with my feet in the general vicinity. I'm going to have to look and see if I can uh, find a photo on my phone of some satellite imagery or some drone footage and just have a look and then see if I can identify a tree that's in the right spot. I think we can do that. All right. Let's do it. I don't even think I'm going to bother picking this stuff up. It's either just going to rot down, because most of it's dead anyway, or when this excavator shows up, whichever one I buy, um, 
can just use that to clean it up as long as I don't sink. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep pushing through that last little bit until we get to the edge of the until we get to the edge of the forest that's uh, a little more dense in there. And then we'll see what's up. Well, it's not easy working in here. Whew. You can see this whole area is built up with these, uh, I don't know what else you'd call them, but like root mounds. You have lots of stuff growing up in this one mound. And then in the summertime, all the way around, it's just wet. There's another good example there. Hasn't been cut yet, but. And here as well. So, anything that I cut, if it's worth keeping, I'll throw it down in there anyway. Build my road right on top and it'll settle in over time and I can amend with more gravel. I'll definitely need a couple of culverts in here don't want to uh, interfere with the natural movement of the water. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to do too much more today. Maybe cut down the rest of those little cedars and clean up that edge down there and then be done. Here's a good example of what I'm up against here. Everywhere through here. It'll be a challenge. This will be the worst of it though.
I think that's pretty good for today. Wow, I like that wide angle lens. It's much better. Okay. Eh? Pretty soon we'll be pushing into this forest, but I can't see myself going a whole lot more in that direction until I have the excavator. It's just so labor intensive doing it by hand. I could just drop this stuff with the saw and then pick it up with the excavator and move it. Maybe a wood chipper wouldn't, uh, wouldn't be a bad idea either. So until next time, thanks for hanging out. If you, uh, if you like what you see, you can like click in that subscribe button down there if you're on a desktop or, you know, ring the bell and thumbs up and all that kind of stuff too. Thanks very much guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.